What's up guys, it's Austin here, and we got Lord behind the camera, it's Fire Friday, we got some fire for you guys. We didn't get enough comments for Ultram on the last video, instead of comments, we're gonna hit a like. So if you guys hit the likes, how many likes should we get, 500 likes? Yeah. If you guys can give us 500 likes, the next video we will do on Fire Friday will be an Ultram video for all you Ultram lovers. But until then, we're gonna keep doing other morphs, today we pick clown, let's stop clowning around and get right into the snakes. So right here, as an example, we have a regular clown. This right here is a nice big female. After this female, we're only gonna be showing you guys combos and hatchlings. So this right here is an example of what a clown looks like. So the first combo clown we're gonna show you guys is a really nice and simple one. This is a spot nose clown. And spot nose and clown go hand in hand. Just amazing, you have this really cool pattern throughout the snake, a really nice head stamp. And of course, this amazing flaming coming up from the belly, some red tones, orange tones. When you add yellow belly and other jeans to here, you can get some really beautiful colors. And now let's jump in some other combos. So right here we have a leopard clown. Now leopard also works really good in clown. So you can see it brings these almost like leopard pattern. It also brings a nice dorsal stripe down the middle. Also, nice head stamp, and it looks amazing in other combos, so the snake does not want to cooperate. So let's go check it out and see other clown combos. So we're back in the adult room for the last time. I know we said we wouldn't be, but right here we have the leopard and the spot nose clown mixed together to give us a Batman, and they work really well together. We still have that sort of a dorsal stripe from the leopard, and a really cool head pattern from the leopard and spot nose. It looks like both of them combined. And then the wacky pattern on the side. You got the spot still from the leopard. You still have a little bit of that spot nose wacky pattern coming in. It's a really cool looking snake. And there's a lot more to do with this project. We're not going to be showing any more Batmans, but I definitely wanted to highlight it. And this one has a really cool head stamp. It looks like a sword almost, if you look at it from this way. But really cool combo, and I'll just jump into some even cooler ones. So right here we got a Firefly Clown, uh, which is Pastel Fire Clown, and it just, you could see what fire does, it blushes it out, same with Pastel, works really nice in Clown. Um, I really like the coloration, as it gets older it does wash out a little bit, but as a baby, it's just an amazing looking snake. So right here we got two really cool clown combos, really complex. This one over here is a pastel lesser spot nose yellow belly clown, 100% head for enhancer, possible head g-stripe. And on this side we have the exact same thing minus the yellow belly, so it's a pastel lesser spot nose clown, also 100% head for enhancer, 50% head for g-stripe, and the yellow belly made a really big difference. These guys are super bright. The Het Enhancer does play. A lot of the Het Enhancer babies we're noticing are a lot brighter than the ones that are not Het Enhancer. So definitely making it that much brighter, but really cool. I love how Yellow Belly made the pattern that much more wackier, spaced it out a little bit, and even gave it that much more of a nicer color. So really cool. Okay, so right here we have a Cinnamon Leopard Spectre or Yellow Belly Clown. Just an amazing coloration. You can see the brown that the cinnamon brings in as well as leopard works really nice in this combo the dad was a super stripe so it has to be specter or yellow belly so real really cool nice hold back for mutation creation so right here we got two really cool snakes this one's in shed it's not looking its best but it's still looking really good we'll start off with this one this is an enchi spot nose banana mojave clown and this thing is just insane. I love what Mojave and Spot Nose do inside a clown. It really whacks out the pattern, especially with the Enchi, which is it cleans up the pattern a lot of the times. That's why you're getting all this nice striping over here and a little bit of banding over. It's really nice. And I also love what Enchi and Spot Nose do together inside of the head stamp in clowns. It just looks amazing. And then right next to it over here, we have a pastel Spot Nose Mojave Enchi clown. So take out the banana, add pastel, 
and this is what we have here so really cool love all the nice peach colors and oranges and you also have some nice purples in the outlines and it's really nice white flaming coming up from the belly a really cool combo and a little bit of a different head with the pastel so really interesting and really cool so right here we have a banana clown het pied and you could tell it's het pied as you could see there is a nice ringer kind of goes all over the belly a little bit on the side banana pied is amazing banana clown pied would just be crazy um, I really like how the colorations of these are when they're first born as they do get older they do wash out a lot and you start seeing a little bit of these freckles pop in but still an amazing snake right over here we have an Enchi fire orange dream clown 100% head for ghost and Enchi is really cool because it reduces the pattern then you have orange dream which enhances the color giving you this really nice orange color and then you also have fire which also lightens it up and enhances the color that much more and this is just a really cool looking snake can't wait to see the hypo version of this i know there's going to be a lot of purples and orange tones in there it's going to look really cool right over here we have a spot nose special clown and this thing is just insane the flaming coming up the belly looks amazing we already have some of that inside of the spot nose clown which you guys saw earlier but the special brought in these really nice deep oranges and almost rusted reds right there and we have these really nice oranges coming through on the dorsal and a really nice yellow and almost tan color on the side so really cool and that head stamp is just mesmerizing I really like it so we're getting into the last few snakes here and this one is a pastel leopard ivory clown it's looking amazing but it's pretty hard to go and see the colors and the pattern until we get the black light going. So now that we're in the special black light room. We're in the washroom. Man, why do you have to expose us like that? Okay, so, so now that we're in the washroom with the lights off and you guys, that sounds wrong. <laughs> Just pause that for a second. I don't like this. Wait. So now we can see the pattern with the black light and just how crazy this thing is. We have that leopard head stamp right there which looks like a little bit of a line from both the middle of the head going downwards. And you can definitely go and see that leopard dorsal stripe throughout the pattern. But I'm really liking all the flaming coming up. It almost looks like waves or like the side of a samurai sword. It's really cool and it's happening on both sides. And it's just an amazing looking snake. Definitely wasn't expecting this inside of the ivory clowns. And I can't wait to go and see some more ivory clown combos. So we're coming to the end of the video right now. And I got a bonus for you guys right over here. We recently just hatched this out. This is a lesser super asphalt clown. And it looks insane. Almost looks like there's spot nose in there. And I can't wait until we actually get spot nose in there. Comment down below what you guys are seeing right over here. I'm very curious to see what a lot of you guys think. Kind of reminds me of a movie, but I don't think I can talk about it inside of YouTube. But pretty funny, but really cool looking snake. I love all the little speckling on the top that's coming through. Definitely haven't seen that inside of clowns before. And just amazing looking snake. I love the purple in the head as well. And this is just with lesser added, so I can't wait to get Enchi in here, maybe even Ultramel and some really other cool combos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a lot of fun making it for you guys. Today is Christmas Eve, and I hope everybody here, everybody watching, everybody in the whole world has a great Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to make the... <laughs> And if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays to you from everyone here at Mutation Creation. That's going to be it for today's video. Remember, try to hit 500 likes down below and we can go get that Ultramel video out for you guys. But until then, have a safe Christmas, safe holidays, and peace out.